Yo, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm really pleased to announce uh, the release of a new product that I've been working on for the last few months. And that's this little guy. This is a naked Blackmagic 4K. So what is a naked Blackmagic 4K? You will have heard of uh, naked GoPros in the past where people take a GoPro and strip it back to its bare bones and fit it to a really lightweight case, uh, creating a naked GoPro. At the start of last year, I was shown a really cool project that a guy called Sam Sanford had been working on, uh, where he took a Blackmagic 4K and dismantled it, uh, took the components out that he needed, and created a naked Blackmagic. At the time, I thought, wow, <laughs> that looks... Uh, that looks really complicated and expensive. A few months went by and I'd been pestered by a few of my friends to uh, create my own black magic, naked black magic setup. Uh, so yeah, about three months ago I bit the bullet and invested in a black magic camera and uh, basically instantly took the thing apart and started working on my naked black magic setup. When you take one of these black magic cameras apart, you uh, soon become aware that the only things that you need to make this work is the camera sensor and it just has one main PCB inside so you take the camera apart and remove those two components and then I used the empty shell I had to copy the outside part here that the lens attaches to and had to copy this inside part here that the sensor attaches to and what I made was this sensor lens attachment so you can see there is an exact replica of the MFT mounting system on the front and exact replica of the sensor mounting system on the back and there's a little little back cover there to keep it all uh, free from light leak so this little guy houses the sensor and allows you to attach the lens to the front of it of course um, but then for mounting for mounting the PCD um, the easiest option was to just mount it between two carbon fiber plates like so, keeps it nice and safe and mount the lens, the lens uh, case on top there um, and you can see that I've got it all supported by these carbon fibre struts um, and you can adjust the angle from 50 degrees <laughs> All the way down to minus, all the way down to minus 20. <laughs> so you've got loads of adjustment for the camera angle there. Uh, a lot of other, a couple of the other people who have uh, had a go at designing these have opted to have struts that come out from the rip, from the middle of the top plate here and just go up like this. Um, I found, that's how I started off with my first design, but I just found it super awkward for doing up your battery straps um, and for running your cable to your LiPo for powering the camera. Um, so yeah, I created these front mounted struts instead that are held in place by these uh, ABS resin printed uh, mounting points and it also slots into the top plate there so they're super rigid if I remove the lens here you can see I've got all the nice MFT mounting system there on the front I've also created this custom PCB that's used for um, supplying power to the Blackmagic camera turning it on and off and starting and stopping the recording you can see here at the front we've got full access to SD card and see fast card slots. Now that I've got a card in there, I'll be able to show you the record switch better. So you 
turn it on, the camera powers up and then indicates that the camera is powered up. Then you just push this button here and the tally light comes on at the back there to tell you that it's recording. Nice and simple. By moving these struts, strut braces to the front and freeing up all the space on the back, um, I've got three battery configuration options. Um, I've taken pictures of how all three of them look, so I'll probably overlay them now. Um, but you can basically run one LiPo in the middle, you can put the straps going out and out through and outside the frame and run two LiPos on top, both with two straps each. And when you get this camera angle all the way back to 50, you can see obviously it's going to be going right where the battery is. So I've added these extra slots here so that you can toilet tank a battery across the back and that allows that allows the lens to be tilted all the way back to 50 degrees. As you can see here on the four corners of the bottom plate are these mounting holes. Uh, this is a standardized mounting pattern for anyone who's releasing a naked Blackmagic setup uh, so that all frame designers can design their frames uh, to have the right mounting pattern to fit any uh, naked Blackmagic setup. You then use these little um, these little gummies called Alpha Gel. Um, they fit inside here with some little um, carbon washers and basically separate this entire part from the rest of the drone to try and isolate vibrations. Uh, keeps the footage nice and clean. I'm still on the fence whether these are actually do anything. Um, on something this light. They're mainly designed for things over a kilo. They might be really good if you're running two lipos on the back and really getting the weight of this up, but with only one lipo on the back, um, yeah, it doesn't even weigh a kilo, so I'm not so sure they work that well. And of course you've got full access at the back for uh, your HDMI out to go to your monitor. Uh, you've got audio jacks there for if you want to run a microphone and USB-C slot for if you want to record onto a SSD drive instead of CFast. Okay, so now's, a, now's as good a time as any to actually do a quick uh, weight comparison. So, got a Blackmagic 4K, no lens, no lens cover, no cards in it, no battery in it. Then we have the Naked 4K, no lens, no lens cover, no battery, so uh, no card in it. So as close to as the same as what they will be uh, if ran separately. So look at that, 762 grams for the Black Magic. And 407 for the naked black magic so hell of a lot of a uh, hell of a lot of weight saving going on there especially when you think um, you've got to remember the battery for the black magic is actually 77 grams yeah I can run it on one of these which is only 36 grams and I get about uh, eight minutes recording time uh, with one of these packs 452s so I mean real reality is it is about half the weight uh, you're saving close to four you know around the 400 gram marks which yeah when you're putting it on a drone makes a massive difference okay cool so there you have it that's my black naked black magic kit I hope you like it I've spent a lot of work <laughs> a lot of time getting this to work properly um, it's been a really good challenge, I've had to learn some new skills uh, like PCB design and things like that but it's been really fun working on this and I'm just I'm fully into cine stuff now um, already working on a 6k version um, so hopefully be able to release some details on that in the coming weeks um, so yeah make sure you subscribe to check out future videos I'll be coming out with a build guide and um, a disassembly guide on how to take your black magic apart, how to assemble it on a kit so you can buy the kit, follow along with the guide and build your own 
Um, I'm actually also offering a, uh, a build service so you can send me your camera if you haven't got time or you're not confident enough to take one apart yourself you can send me your camera and I'll convert it to a naked setup for you um, I'm also actively looking for Blackmagic cameras that are suitable for this setup so when I see them I'm picking them up um, so if you see the ready to fly option uh, available on the website it means that I've got the camera in stock ready to take apart and convert uh, means you don't have to find a camera yourself maybe you haven't got one already um, and yeah so I'll find the camera I'll take it all apart set it all up for you and you'll literally get one of these uh, without a lens <laughs> so yeah as I say I hope you like this uh, this new product uh, really excited to see people putting it to good use and uh, yeah I'll see you in the next one laters